How are y'all dickheads doing? It is I, once again, Dirk Record, coming to you live from the studio in New York City. I'm licking my wounds after two unsuccessful drafts, but we're doing another one because fuck it, I'm still trying to learn it, so that's why we're we're still in quick draft. Uh, but if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe, and more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash Dirk Record. Link in the description where you catch the stream video games, leathercraft, little bit of magic, the gathering, and other assorted nonsense every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from around 4 to around 8 Eastern Standard Time. But with that out of the way, I have a coin. I And I really should, like, really slow. My God, what is this? Oh, I've seen this card go off. So it's a 3-4 four for 4 with Ward 2. That's already That already seems like fine. When it attacks reach creature, you control a power greater than that creature's base power, which means we're going to want equipment. Put a number of 1-1 one, one counters on that creature equal to the difference. We're going to want equipment. Um, and we're going to want things like this Gold Fury Strider. Uh, there is a Bat Colony, but the I, I've been told that the Cave deck is a... What do they call it? Trap. We're going to take the Sovereign Olkinek. Ahow. Just, he seems very good. We're going to try to get, like, equipment and creatures that discover or explore... Um, like this one, or creatures that hold equipment very well, right? Um, like this holds equipment well. The Ultec Cloud Guard holds well. Actually, I think the Ultec Cloud Guard's probably better. Um, when you discover the Deep Cavern Bat, very good card. Fucking absolutely hate it. Twists and turns. Actually, this is a dis this is an explore payoff, isn't it? And we could really use this to force exploration. Let's get twist and turns. Actually, over the edge. There's, there's something to be said for over the edge, but we want things... Hey, what's up, Caldez? You want things that, like, make their base power high, if that makes any sense. This makes another creature explore, and I think that might be the t pick here. Although, Tendril of the Micro Tyrant, like, this thing just is a lightning rod for removal, and I kind of like that shit. Um, How are you doing, Caldez? Something to be said for Kaslam's Stone Tree. I really shouldn't let myself be super locked in on anything right now. Uh, I don't like the Gore Stalker, because I've seen so many board states where the opponent just, like, plays this and then sacrifices their board, only to make an opponent lose, like, two 1-1s, one you know? Let's take the Tendril of the Micro, micro Tyrant. We can always just sp splash for Sovereign, whatever. Um, this is the deck where the Jade Seed Stones are actually pretty good. The Malamut Scythe is also really good in this deck. Um, I don't really like the Sandwing and the River Herald Guide. I hope that that wields wheels but we will take the seed stones because it plays really well with sovereign okinek just got back from walmart Ooh, what'd you pick would you pick and hey, no problem rem would you pick up sorcerer spyglass downshifted to uncommon what a shame um let's see cosmium blast is not bad you know pretty good removal target attacking or blocking creature uh wish i had wish we can get the stone blades i'll take the axe jaw though when it etbs it explores so it's Sometimes that just makes it that much bigger. Um, yeah, let's get the Pathfinding Axe Jaw. Got a lot of... Uh, ooh. Dusk Rose Reliquary or the Deconstruction Hammer. I think we have to take the Reliquary here. Um, it's just so good. It's just very good. Uh, as much as I want the Deconstruction Hammer, this is very good removal. Exile target artifact or creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. Um, we do have to sacrifice something else. I I while casting it, but I think that that's doable. Um, there's another axe jaw. There's a kin collar. Um, let's take the kin collar for now. No, let's take the axe jaw. Although the map token here is not bad either. Let's take the max axe jaw. I know we have like a lot of four drops. Seeker of sunlight, blowgun. We are gonna need some blowgun action or stuff like that. So we're gonna take the blowgun for now. Let's see. Capybara. Capybara, 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 capybara. Capybara, 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 capybara. All right, I have to read a uh, chat real quick. Um, We'll take the capybara. Descend four, which is not so hard. Makes it a, a, a four, three, right? Um, Of these... I think we like the didact echo the most in case we end up in blue somehow um of these i don't like slumber the hats uh, exists uh out of air i'm not a fan of minus x minus o or 
a mill. Janet, it, it seems bad. It's not really removal. I will take it, but we're probably not playing it. There's, there's a scythe. That's actually not bad in this deck. Uh, another didact echo. Something to be said for that. And a shipwreck sentry. Are we pivoting into blue? We might be pivoting into blue. God, the ancient one. Okay. Um, Kawadi Scavenger. Uh, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. That seems okay, actually. Um, I think we could take that. The ancient one... Uh, Descend 8 is so hard. Target player mills card equal to its value. Let's get the Kawadi Scavenger. Just chilling. That's cool, man. What's this? Ooh, ooh, the other one. Whenever one or more creatures you control with power greater than its base power deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That works well with this thing. So I think we're going to take that over another Kawadi Scavenger. Um, Cosmian Blast would be good. Zoetic Glyph. Uh, shame. Shame. But we're going to take the Kutsil. Kutsil. Um, Chomp. Sunscribe. It's another Blowgun. There's a Waterwind Scout. I think that's just better than... Uh, I don't want to play like three color though. That's the problem. And like maybe the Colossal Dactyl is just fine enough by itself as a 4-5 Reach Trample. It's another four drop. That's the problem that I have with it. It's another four drop. I don't want to have like too many four drops. Um, Fuck it. The Trample is, is kind of important on that. And we might actually cut something else for it. This is a payoff for this deck because it puts 1-1 one -one counters on other things. Um, granted, we want things to be in our graveyard for that to go off. <sighs> yeah, let's take that. We do need a five drop. The hidden nursery eh, would wouldn't mind that or the whirlpool. I don't know if we're really in white. I guess we're in white now. And I need to get things that make tokens. Then so let's take another dust rose reliquary, dusk rose reliquary, Keslam stone tree. Presence of Ages. Put the rest in your graveyard. Let's take the Stone Tree for now. I don't think anything here is like better than what we currently have. But I wouldn't mind ramping a little bit. It's a Kin Caller. That's the Glow Cap Lantern. Whenever this creature attacks, it explores. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. Tap target creature. How many creatures do we have? We have nine creatures. We're not really doing dinosaur things, right? Even though we do have a fair amount of dinosaurs, actually. Um, this isn't necessarily a, a stat bonus, so we're not going to take that, actually. We're going to take the Cartographer's Companion, actually, because it actually helps turn on our Dusk Rose Reliquaries, and the map tokens can turn on the other shit. There's a hammer. Uh, we're giving up... Cosmium Blast for it, but the hammer is actually very good. We need things that hold hammers very well. Um, there's another companion. I think we just take the companion. Um, Quadi Scavenger Wield. That's telling me that green is like super duper available and open. Um, let's take the Cave Worm for now. I know. It's like I have a fair amount of dinosaurs accidentally. I'll take the nursery. That seems pretty good. Um, but like, we don't have a lot, a lot. You know what I mean? And whenever a creature explores and it can't be blocked, sure. I feel like we have more blue cards than, than, than white cards, but like all the blue cards that I've taken have been mid at best. We'll take the buried treasure, actually. Um, squirming emergence. What's this? Return target non-land permanent card in your graveyard with mana value less than or equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. I think we take a market no mirror? As funny as that sounds. Um, over the old tech cloud guard, and that holds equipment very well. It's a flyer. Artifact card from your graveyard to your hand or scry three. Yeah, this is a 3-2 that flies and makes a token, which is very good for our it's another four drop though that's a problem but flyers hold weapons very well there's this thing which also holds equipment pretty well petrify is here 
Do I need Petrify with two Dusk Rose well well queries? I don't think so. Let's take the uh this thing. You need help? <laughs> don't pick on Remy. You descended scry one. That also holds equipment pretty well. I think we're gonna take that. The Ruin Lurker Bat. Um, Bat Colony is not good. Jade Seed Stones. We already have a Jade Seed Stones, right? Yeah. I don't think we want another one. Oh, there's an Explorer's Cache here. Hello. This is actually perfect, and it allows us to just cut the Malamet Battle Scythe. Do I have that one? Yeah. That Scythe is crap. Um, It puts a token on something, and then if a creature you control with tokens dies, you put the token... You put a token back on this thing. So this actually works really well with everything else that we're doing here. Um... And it comes with three tokens, I think. Yeah. There's another one of those guys. And there's another Dusk Rose uh, Reliquary. And there's a Glorifier of Suffering. How many creatures do we have again? 15. I wouldn't mind playing another Kutzil because he will draw the ire of our opponent. Let's take that. Cosmium Blast is great. Um, ooh, this is actually not bad, but so is that. Christ. All right, so, Oteklan Landmark. Flying gets flying. Cosmium Blast. Four damage target. Yeah, let's get the, the Landmark for now. Because it kind of holds equipment pretty well. Tap to untap, blah, blah, blah. That's ah, not good. The Scythe, there's a cave. There's a Sand Wing, so we can plane cycle pretty easily. I think we're going to cut the Buried Treasure. Glimpse the core. Let's go. Ooh, we can play Staggering Size. That's right. And there is a Bristle back here. Which I'm tempted to take, but I think we want to take the Staggering Size here. What do you mean? <coughs> um, We have three Axe Jaws. No, two Axe Jaws already. I think we could take a Courtyard here. Uh, maybe we want another extra. Promising Vein's okay. Cosmium Blast is uh, not bad in terms of removal. I will take that. Um, River Herald Guide. That explores, right? Yeah. Scythe is okay. Um, let's take a Compass Gnome, just in case. The Oteklan Landmark Wield. Um... That, that's our second one. We actually had one already. Okay. Scythe. Okay. All right. Um, we do have a deck, but we need to start cutting things. Because we can't play no fitty cards. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't like seed stones, but it does turn into a creature. Colossal Dactyl. It's important. I'll cut one of the. Do we cut one of these? No, that's a two. Haslam Stone Tree is not great. Scavengers. Oh, they're cute. Compass Gnome. Uh, Lander Cave. Put it on top. Shuffle. Buried Treasure. We're not playing. Tendril of the Micro Tyrant. I just like that card. How many creatures do we have? 20 creatures. We can cut some creatures. Um... So we want to keep the things that fly in here, right? Because they hold equipment pretty well, right? I don't think we need two Oteklan landmarks. We might not even need one. Cenote Scout, that explores one of ETBs. Twists and Turns allows for a lot of exploration. Um, Let's see. So what do we have that explores? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, wait, no. Six. Okay. We don't have very many things that explore, so maybe I can actually cut Twist and Turn. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of that. Doesn't matter for a ball. My cat's, like, staring at me. She's just like, I want a bow in it. Alright, so we got one hammer, we got a blowgun... Not a big fan of Blowgun, actually. Um, and...
Cosmium Blast. We have two of these, so we need three removals, but okay. Let me get rid of Capybara. Capybara, Capybara, Capybara. That's not true. I actually have difficult times to get it to even pay attention. Uh, what? Uh, we have a lot of four drops, right? Like, how's our curve look? Seven four drops. Woo! Let's cut a four drop. <clears throat> let's cut an axe jaw. Part of me does What's the matter, Summer? I'm getting yelled at. Come here. She thinks she's so cute. Um, let's get rid of a cartographer's companion. We don't need two of those. And we have 42 cards. Scavenger. Oh, it's cute though. It's a raccoons. What's the matter for a ball? She just wants attention. She thinks she's so cute, guys. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know if I agree. Let's get rid of the blowgun. Mm, the hammer, I think, is good enough, as is the cash and the summer. No. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Maybe the seed stones is not good enough. It does cost a lot, so let's put the blowgun back in. <laughs> Staggering size is important. This is just such a very good combat trick. Um, this actually kind of works with the, the Kutsil and Silver and whatever, because it, it checks for base power, and so the land will have a base power of zero, and then have seven counters on it and then those will like what double i think if if sovereign okinek ahau is out wish we got those other two drops though but what are you gonna do right compass gnome okay um shit all right this is fine 41 cards yolo 41 cards yolo can't agree with my cat she's a bad girl oh no going into round one you bad girl summer? He's like, no. She's like, how dare you say that to me? Um Technically keepable. Uh we don't get a card off of that and Or we don't get a land off of that. Keep Okay. There's our curve though. Right, furball? She's like, mm, I hate it here. She thinks she's so cute. No blocks. Okay. Play this. Play this. I'm not gonna get a land. Decline. I have enough lands. I'll attack. Gain life. Uh, if they attack with Goblin Tomb Raider, unless they have a uh, an artifact, I don't think I block the Tomb Raider. I think I just let it hit me. Where are you going, Summer? She's leaving me. She just hopped down in the floor. <clears throat> hmm? No blocks. Okay. Land. Next. I'll attack. Oh no. Yep. Makes sense. Bonk. Um, we'll play this. Let's play this actually. Because this can block that. And then next turn, if they. Yeah. Hot foot? No. Okay, cool. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah, they don't attack here. Makes sense. 
Me world's on fire. Me feeling fire, feeling hot, hot, hot. Okay. Opponent has one green mana out open. No blocks. Okay. So that's a lot of land. Play this. Play the companion. Perfect. All attack. They likely block Kutzil simply so that... Oh! Okay, I guess they're gonna let me draw. Alright. Cool. We can block that thing if we want to. No, thank you for being here, Hunter. <sighs> did, you f did you finish your pizza already? Ooh, Brazen Blade Master. They need two or more artifacts, and it's only when they attack. So... I guess they could give it haste, and then it would be a 4-4. Four -four. But then it leaves them wide open to getting hit for 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't block that. No blocks. Okay. Um, let's see. We could do two things here. We could play this after the fact. So I think what we do is we attack with everything to get more information. Right, because it draws us a card. Ooh, there's a heart. Okay. Um, What's the change of plans here? There is no change of plans. I don't really need to use this right now. Um, this explores when it comes into play. Let's play this. Cosmine Blast, that's great. And then um, we'll play this, and then we will... Play this and we know that that's a that so we'll get a 2-2 two, two done so likely i mean opponent can attack into this but i don't think they could just like win you finished the whole thing already wait no 12 inches isn't about to say 12 inches isn't that big and i was like wait you guys are gonna take it the wrong way haha <laughs> um if they put this on this thing i definitely block it as a 5-4 because I don't give a shit. Yep. Okay. It's a 4-2. Weird. I can just block that with the Cenote Scout unless they have combat trick in their hand. Okay. Uh, no block. Alright, so this turn, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually play Ultec Cloud Guard. Um... Actually, I don't even have to do that, right? We just play the reliquary, blo get blow that up, and then attack with everything. Sacrifice this. To then, like, exile their hotfoot gnome. They know about the Cosmium Blast, too. Next. I think we just swing out. Yep. So it takes six. We lose them at one. We draw a card. Oh, wait. It's one or more. Okay. I was about to say, do we draw two cards here? No. Um, we'll play this, and then, uh, you know, fuck it. We'll play the old tech Cloud Guard, because we don't really need to blow that up, actually. Hmm. It creates a 1-1, one, one, and we pass. There's no wrong way to take 12 inches. Well, that's fair. This is no longer going to attack as a 4-4 either, because they only have one artifact in play. I exiled the other one. So, they're at 1, and we have a flyer. Um... So they're thinking about crafting that, but the thing is I could just chump block it with this and then win on the backswing. If that's the only thing they can do, we can win. We just won. Um, okay. I'm going to block this just in case. They could have like the, the big size thing, but like that would only do five minus one. Four damage puts us at four life. 
Ancestor's aid. Okay, so that's first strike. That's not like enough. Good game. Hey, we won! Hey, we actually won. The deck works, kind of. Well, the deck works when we draw well. How about that? How about that? Oh, I never... I personally never, like, try to come up with conversation ideas. I know that a lot of people do, and I think that it makes their streams a lot better. Like, you know, like, they have, like, question of the day, or... Oh, thank you, Shabazz. Um, they have, like, question of the day, or, like, you know, like, uh... It's usually just question of the day. Maybe you should do a question of the day. Um, or, uh, let's see. Um, asking people about their future plans for, like, we are coming up to a holiday season. Want to know going into round one? Or round two? I know. I know. Somehow. I somehow won. My phone is trying to show me pictures from my Spain trip. Wow, we could do this again. Okay. Colossodactyl. We can keep this. This is fine. Thus, Rose Reliquary is... And there's all of our mana. Okay. So, Tendril of the Myco Tyrant. Mm -hmm. There's Siren. Tendril. I have a lot of removal. Oh, I need another green source for this stupid thing. Ooh, pardon me. If they have that fucking, what's it called, um, that glyph, I'm dead. There's that. If they just attack here, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonk. Okay. Water wind scout. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Get some of land. All right. That might be very good, actually. I attack with this. Play this. Opponent cat casts spells on my turn. What's funny is I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have none of the payoffs. I have like the whole engine and everything, but none of the payoffs. Gong gong. Yep. While this guy's out, my opponent can't counter my spells, so that's kind of fun. Well, they can't counter spells on my turn, so I get to, like, resolve shit whenever I want to. Alright, they're tapping out for something. Adaptive Gem Guard. Okay. I don't know why they didn't. Okay, um... Play this. Play this. Do I do that? Send that in. It's 4-4. Four, four. Hey, what's up, Ryan? You can't cast anything on my turn, baby. Taking the four, you're blocking. There you go. Draw a card. There we go. Perfect. Um, if they attack me with this, I'm not going to block. Iron Paw Aspirant. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. They attack with the flyers. Yep. Okay. Dong dong. Okay. I think next turn I reliquary exile this. Yep, especially because they did that. Um and we're going to sacrifice the Cartographer's Companion. Look at that. Next. Uh, attack with this and this. Take six. Draw a card. Play to land already. Colossodactyl. Four or five reach. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and it's like, fuck that thing. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, play this. 
What's in my graveyard? Just one thing? Alright, so... Let's see. If I send in everything, they kind of, like, lose to Cosmium Blast, which I don't mind. Um... I can just send this in, right? They have to block it. Oh, they don't have to. They could just go to four. It's sort of bad for them, though. They can't cast... Oh, no, they can now, because this guy's been um, eaten by Perrons. <coughs> what a shame. Okay. Um, I'll put this in the back. Cosmium Blast, kill that. Mischievous Pup, okay. So that puts that back in their hand. Well, I'm assuming it puts it back in their hand. But they still lose two creatures out of it. That's very long. What the hell? Deep Throat? Deep Throat has another connotation in where I'm from, and it's very weird. Okay, so that's still dead. Okay. Oh, it's still dead. I still kill their flyers. But we did two for two ourselves. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's play this. The three four is probably the best thing we could play right now. Good game. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was in a dream. I thought you were talking about IRL. I'm sorry. Wow, we two, we t we won two games. Um, cool, cool, cool. And we haven't even like really seen too many of like the cards that I think make the deck work, right? Well, that's not true. We keep getting Quetzal. Quetzal? 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 Named after Quetzal. Quetzal. I'm kidding. That's a joke. Um. And I guess this is more of an aggressive deck, right? You're, uh, you're gonna drive? Oh boy, okay. Alright, so you get some good sleep, alright? Have sweet dreams of, um... Sugar skulls. Sugar skulls. They're like, uh, they're a thing that they have for the Day of the Dead in Mexico. It's just a skull made of sugar. They're usually painted to look very, very, very festive. No, no, not Deep Throat. Our opponent's timing out. This is gonna go to a draw. Oh no. My girlfriend's sister is sick. My girlfriend thinks she's sick too. She's got a she's got some uh she's got some of the ache. Shit. Yep, this is gonna go directly to a draw. Is my girlfriend's sister cute? I I guess? I don't know. Oh shit, it didn't go to draw. Alright. Um, I'll take it. Deconstruction hammer's fine. Um, keep... I just need to draw lands. Equip one is, like, the best part of the deconstruction hammer. She's... she's taken, though. She does have a... she has a boyfriend. Play the hammer. I'm actually gonna play the guide first. Well, if I could draw lands. Um... Play the cenote scout. Give me a land. Thank you. This is where they play their knife. Okay. Nothing to exile. Visage of dread. Okay. There's a lot of good stuff. I don't know what they can take here. Take a drink. I got you, Cyber Lycan.
They must have just top decked that. Otherwise, they would have played it last turn. Um, I think the answer is Quetzal. There you go. Uh, let's see. We will play the land. We will hit our opponent. Should I go wide? Maybe we go wide here. Play this. Play the cash. Put a token on the bat. Make it a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Um... Token on that. Land? Colossodactyl. Um, yeah, Colossodactyl. Whoops. Blundering Pirate. Okay. They could attack right through me, because this thing has... Oh, okay. Um, should I just exile that now? No. I don't think that that's the correct thing to do. Two one one counters on it. Let's play this. Cosmian Blast is great. Um, we'll hold on to this land. Although I could sec. No, let's not do that. Um, let's send these two things in. Let's send everything in, actually. Like, their blocks are not good here, you know? Um, sure. And enter. Ooh, I'll take a Cosmian Blast. That way they can know that we just have like a lot of uh, removal. Cool. Geological Appraiser. Yeah. All right. They're getting the Sunshot Militia. I'm actually going to exile the Appraiser. Sacrificing the cash. Because it ruins their ability to like really block. Yep. I'll hold on to the land. Scry that to the bottom. Yeah, I'll hold on to the land in case they ca cast a spell that forces us to discard a card. Okay. That's a shame. Ooh. We got two things going. But they're still dead. Next. Take three in the air. Good game. Wow! Wow! Um, that went well. This is how I would have liked the games to have gone in the previous fucking... Hey, Trinzenfreet? Tr hey, Bellic, how are you feeling? Trinzenfreet? Tr Trimsifrit? Trimsifrit? Thank you for becoming a dickhead. Bellic, how are you feeling? You show me to... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Should I be concerned? We went 3-0, and oh, which is the exact opposite of how the last two games fucking went. <laughs> God. <laughs> Thank you, Ravi. Oh, we got a pip too. Um, three wins. I'm I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. I listen, Bellic, you should have seen the first two games. The first game I went 0-3, and, and then the second game I went one one and three. Like it was just like three losses, get out of here. One win, three losses, get out of here. Like this is the best I've done all day. Oh look, our opponent's name is Remy. Remy, is this you? Remy, is this you? Are you Remy SC? I could keep this. Oh god, we can keep this super good. This is actually like the ideal hand. Ruin Lurker Bat. Okay. Play a bat. Lands would be nice uh, from here on out. We get to play the cash and put a token on this. Okay. I'm not blocking that. to life um and i think next thing we could actually just cenote scout blowgun okay 
You put a land card onto the battlefield tap. That's not bad. Um, we're taking three? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Cenote Scout. Draw a land. Um, play this. Oh, we can't equip that too. Okay. So we'll put a token on this guy. Play this. Dong. Gain another two. It can't be you. You're not signed in. I think. There you are. Opponent's scrying with that. Okay, or... or. Ooh, that's getting that boy big. He's getting large. Mineshaft spider. Okay. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will block the 3-1. It's a counter on that. Um, let's see. If I play the axe jaw now, I could put a counter on it regardless. And I think that that's the correct thing to do. So we're not going to play the nursery yet. We're going to play the axe jaw. Get a land. Put a token on the axe jaw. No attacks here. I think next turn. Okay, so there's the glow cap lantern. I'm at a wall to sacrifice an artifact to explore. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Mm, let's actually block that? That could be a problem. Um, I don't think we have to. No blocks. Because if we don't... The thing is, we just hit them with this. Okay, so... Play this. Play this. Map token. Explore here. Draw another land. That's not wonderful. Alright, so next. Attack with this guy. Oh, fuck! I forgot all about that shit. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, and turn. I screwed that up. I was supposed to. Uh, that might have cost us the game, unfortunately. This can um, explore for free. This is just free attacks now. And if it keeps growing bigger and bigger, that's going to be a problem. Yep. And then this is going to grow bigger and bigger, and that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. I need to actually get rid of this. Uh, so I need my Dusk Rose Reliquary. Actually. Okay. So they had to explore twice with this guy. And that makes this thing massive. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're playing... Uh, let's see. This land. Putting this on that guy. We're gonna play the Myco Tyrant. And then we're going to pass. No attacks right now. End turn. Okay. Create a map token. They have a lot of power on the board right now, though, which is a problem. Okay. So they're not attacking right now. Because the Spyglass Siren just gets eaten. I don't know if it makes sense to use that rather than to just, yeah, to activate that Seeker of Sunlight. Okay. Uh, I don't think we play the Kowatil Scrounger. Um, one, two, three. We have six mana, but that's not good right now. So let's just uh, put a token here. And then... You know what? Actually, fuck it. We need to do it like this. Next. No attacks. End turn.
we're just trying to stabilize here. But the Tendril of the Myco Tyrant can just turn our lands into creatures. So this is actually two 7-7s seven -sevens in our hand. Uh -huh. Didact Echo, pretty good. Yep. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Next, next, no attacks, end turn. We could activate that at source uh, instant speed, rather. So, <clears throat> it's not terrible that we're top decking lands, is what I'm saying. Die deck echo, yep. Draws him a card. I wish I had a giant squid monster. <laughs> I wish, Cyber Lycan. I wish. This is getting to be a little uh, hairy. This board's like massive, but they know they can't really attack into it. Run blue. No, not today. Paith. I want them to attack something into this. Alright, so let's do it like that. Auto pay. Uh, all these lands, not helping. No attacks, end turn. Okay, they got a Brine Fang. Pass. Turn another Forest into a 7-7. Seven -seven. Play a land. Next, next. No attacks, end turn. Lots of little squids. I mean, I wish. I wish. But they won't let me. Gonna make that into a... Possibly a... Yeah. Out of air is pretty good here. Yep. Okay. It's a 9-10. I'm gonna put that on there. I will double block that. I don't give a shit. I'm going to triple block it, actually. Cool. <laughs> we got a counter on that shit. Yeah, baby! Because they count as counters on the thing. Um. Okay. They're trying to make that huge, but, like, I don't think that that's it. Um... Play this. Activate only as a sorcery. Put a counter on that. Next. Next. No attacks. End turn. Oh god. It's already in there. Can't be blocked by power two or less. Okay. That's a large dude. Where's my removal? That's all I want to know. Where the fuck is my removal? <sighs> you know, like, the deck has, like, all these really annoying removal spells. Attack with your flyers. Okay. Well, I guess we have to play everything else then, right? Here, play this. Explores. Uh, I don't mind that. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, okay. Play this. And next, no attacks, end turn. Oh god. <laughs> Why does Trey have that? Seeker of Sunlight's getting real big. Yup. Nikanzil's getting very, very hard to deal with too. Um, not like not looking forward to dealing with Nikanzil. I'm gonna put the lantern on something. I feel like you shouldn't tap all your green like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pathfinding axe jaw at the ready. They can counter it. Sure. 
Um, do I play this out too? I guess I kind of, right? Whenever it attacks, it has to attack. Okay, never mind. Next, no attacks. End turn. Um, we don't really want to attack with that then. River Herald Guide, yep. Okay, Seeker of Sunlight. Yep. Yep. Trying to make that big. Makes sense. It does. Okay. Cosmium Blast. Ah, that's not the removal I need. Um, let's play this. The big boy. Next. No attacks. End turn. Seeker of Soonlight. Okay. I really need my fucking one one of these two fucking like Dusk Rose reliquaries that's in the deck. I really need it, and it's just like I just haven't seen one. You know what I mean? Um, Dusk Rose reliquary. Where are you? I have a thirteen percent chance of drawing one. Oh, land. Next, next. No attacks. End turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have the same amount of creatures. Eleven. Cool. Somehow we've gone through more cards in our deck than they have. Okay. They've been exploring way more than we have, but somehow, somehow, they are nowhere near along where we are in the deck. Okay, glimpse the core. Yep, resolve. Nice. Mm, oh. Make a planes into a 7-7. Seven, seven. Compass gnome. Shuffle, put that card on top. Ah! Uh, is that really necessary here? No, I don't think I want to do that. Huh. Although it does get me another 7-7, seven, seven, technically. Uh, part of me wants to just discover with that thing. What do we get if we discover? We can get a scavenger, we can get a staggering size. What's good in my graveyard? Cenote Scout. The Axe Jaw is kind of okay. Let's discover. Um, sure. Next. No attacks. And turn. Whenever he attacks for each creature, you control a power greater than that creature's base power, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yep. Malamet Battle Glyph. Worst time for that. I swear. Fuck me. <laughs> well, goodbye, creature that wins me the game, possibly. Oh, it sucks. All right. Mm-hmm. It's a fight spell, but yeah, pays the ward, kills that immediately. It sure must be nice to get your um, removal. Uh, that's all I can say about that. It must be nice to get your removal. Ah, fucking thank god. Alright, so... Play this. Um, decline... This one? I'll sacrifice that one. Get rid of that. No attacks. End turn. Fucking took long enough to get rid of the fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Uh huh. They had another. Oh god. Fuck my life. Okay. 
Mhm. Jesus. They have one of those too. No wonder they have so many merfolks. Okay. Merfolken. Okay. Pass. Um. Yeah, and like the problem is, I removed their 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 this thing, and it's just been hell. It's been absolute hell. Yep. Because they had another one. Um. Get another one of those. Uh, next, next, no attacks, end turn. It's just, it feels like we're in a stalemate and it's going to go to whoever decks first. Because, like, they can't really profitably attack into my board. I have all these seven sevens, right? Um, I can't profitably attack into their board because I would just lose all of my, um creatures that are just smaller than theirs you know what i mean so that's an issue i think the correct thing to do actually is to put this onto my okay put this hunter's dark blowgun onto my river herald's guide and just start swinging but then, like, if they block it with, like, let's say that, you know, they both die, right? It doesn't really change the board. As all... Oh, God. Okay, so they're building up another one of these. Um... Wait a minute. Non-creature line, so I can't put it on those. Okay. Auto-pay. Um, I didn't realize I could just make all of my lands into creatures. I do believe that the correct thing to do is to put this on this. Because it has death touch now, so whatever blocks it just dies. They likely want to trade with something small. Um, that's not the Cenote Scout, right? Otherwise, I get to keep a blocker behind as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's perfect. To Dimaggio. Okay. And then we put this back on this. <clears throat> and let's see. I believe I'll put a counter on the Colossal Dactyl. End turn. Yep. Song of Stupid Faction. Ha ha! Okay. Okay. Resolve. Some or not right now. What do you want, baby girl? Hmm? What do you want? You big girl? Their creatures are going like super tall. And there's like nothing I could do about that. Um, but I can keep turning my lands into creatures. Auto pay. Um, there's another one of these. Summer, stop. Hmm. I don't think I can attack into that, though, which is why Quetzal's pretty bad here. But it does prevent them from casting spells on my turn. So let's just do that. Um, Soaring Sandwing is in the deck, too. Next. Next. No attacks. 
and turn. What do you want? Come here. Give me a hug. Cane in the ice. Give me these keys. Oh, they're going to do that. Okay, so it becomes a 5-5. Five five. But that's not enough? I just blocked that with the axe jaw. Or even the Colossodactyl. What do you want, bad girl? Like, I still have a 5-6. Deep Root Pilgrimage, okay. What is this? Song of Stupefaction. Okay. I was tapped. Ah, uh, pass. Sure. Auto pay. Auto pay. Auto pay. There's the sand wing. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have 14. We have four more creatures than they do. <sighs> Let's put this out. And next. No attacks. End turn. Um, next turn, I'm actually going to put the death touch thing on the sand wing and just start attacking with it. <clears throat> they could double block it to kill it, but then they lose both of their creatures. Um, we both have nine cards left in the deck. Oh wait, we have Cosmium Blast. I could just make it so that their double block is bad. No, but I think we still... I think we still just gotta like put it on there and then keep going for it. Enough of a number... I... That's sort of the plan right that's why i'm counting them out and everything but i have to like assume that it's basically it comes down to how many um of the larger creatures they can block without issue you know like that uh put this on that next next just attack with this it's got death touch. If they want to double block it, they can. Ooh, they can like... I forgot that they had the reach spider. Okay, so they're taking the four. Ooh, we draw a card. That's not good. Um... Put that on that. Actually, it could be good. Um, we're really gonna try to... Okay. Song of Stupefaction. Terrible for me. Mill two cards. I don't think it's smart to mill right now. Yeah. So that's minus three, minus five. That's fine. Um, we're gonna explore. Yep. Okay. Hermitic Nautilus, okay. Pass. Okay. Play that. Uh, 9, 10, 11. Wait, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 creatures plus 9 at 17. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Eight creatures plus nine, they have twelve, so they can block seven. We seven of our smallest creatures get through. This one doesn't count, so six of our smallest creatures get through. Unfortunate. Okay. Next, next. No attacks and turn. <clears throat> okay, they have another one of those. Uh-huh. Twists and turns. Okay. 
Twists and turns is possibly bad for me. Auto pay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus ten is eighteen. My turn. Or sorry, seventeen. Um cast this. Get back Sovereign Okinek. Cast Sovereign Okinek. How? Next. Next. No attacks. End turn. So, this is going to sound crazy. I think the next turn's it. Twists and turns, yep. Because all these lands are going to double their size when Sovereign Okinek attacks. I have to put the blowgun onto him. Yep. But then these all become 14-14s, and then they have to block them. Um, a lot of them don't get to profitably lock, so a lot of these other things just go through. Okay. Yep. Especially because they'll be getting two blockers next turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those 12 tolls are not going to be enough. Resolve. And if we can get the, um, what's it called? That'd be great. My uh, my giant growth thing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um. Summer stop. This is it. All but this guy. Okay, so then we put a token on, let's see, who wants to be a little bit bigger? Number of tokens equal to the difference, you. Next. Math is for blockers, you figure it out. really gotta block all these 1414s and I'm I don't think they realize just how important it is for them to block all the 1414s if one of them gets through they're dead yep yep uh huh uh huh They're finding it out. They're like, shit, I have to block in such a way. Okay. <laughs> to damage. They took it. They're like, fuck it. GG. Oh yeah. That's what's up. Flipping that shit. Flipping that shit. They were like, fuck it, you can have it. <laughs> they were like, go off. <laughs> oh god. Alright. No, Flex Seal. Flex, that, at a certain point, Flex Seal just sort of like gives up. Alright. I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, That was funny though. That was funny. It was going to like, it was going so long and then the opponent was just like, Fuck, I'm just dead no matter what. There's this is a bunch of that's a lot of damage, yo. Yeah. And you know what? Real talk, claim that. 
um, claim that uh, it's all because of this fucking Myco Tyrant shit. Where is it? Tendril of the Myco Tyrant. Look at this stupid thing. All because of that thing. We would not have won that game. That wouldn't have even been a close game if it wasn't for this two drop that was just like, oh, you land, become a 7-7. Seven, seven. You too. Next up. So it turns every land into a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, that's way better than it sounds, especially like, you know, you're flooding and it, it, it makes it feel less bad to flood because like, usually when I'm in games where I'm like, great, I just top decked another land, it feels bad. This is one of the few times where it was just like, oh, well, I just turned it into a 7-7. Seven, seven. Cool. I will trade that for that. And then our opponent at one point had the ability to remove it and they didn't. They went for um kut kut Kutsul. No, not Kutsul. Okinek Ahau. They went for him, which makes sense. That's important. You need you do need to kill the bomb. But then like that was it. Like they they had no other removal. Oh man. I can't believe we're at four. Four wins. That's more wins than we've gotten in the first two drafts. Optus Prime saying, fuck you. Hot Rod, I swear to God, I shouldn't have given you the spark, the R spark. You're the worst leader for the Autobots. I swear to God, next time I get resurrected, I'm going to rip your fucking head off. You stupid son of a bitch. I don't know if I could do the rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. It sounds weird. Keep rolling. Can I keep this? Oh god. It's, it's, it, this is sus. This is sussy. It's sussy as a keep. I'm gonna keep it. No, it's too, it's too greedy. <laughs> Reliquary to the bottom. We need the four lands to cast these spells. And I don't have anything to sacrifice. Uh, that's not a great draw, but we can cast it possibly. Hey, a dart frog. Okay. That's a better draw. Kutsu, Malamet Exemplar. Here's the Exemplar. Goblin Tomb Raider. Okay. You're gonna hit us for one. Sure. Um. Play this. I don't know what they could possibly have. Ratchet, your catalytic converter doesn't fit in my throat anymore. No, no, it's too British. I'm sorry. Um, they have a land cycler. That's what it is. Or not. They would have cycled it. So I guess not. Or maybe they're just planning on trying to cast it because they have this thing. If they attack with the poison dart frog, I'm going to let it through. I don't care. That they can get a uh, death touch and I don't want to deal with that. If they attack with the goblin tomb raider, I will block that. Um, because if they use a removal spell in addition, that's fine. That's a 5-4, or a 4-5. That's bad for me. Um. Shit, fuck it, YOLO. Cycling is not a sorcery. You're gonna head to bed. All right, Shabazz, you have a good night, okay? Uh, I'll catch you next time, dude. I right, have sweet dreams of, um, cotton candy. Eh, yeah, cotton candy. Ooh, cotton candy. Ooh, cotton candy. Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Opponent has a punch spell. Okay, that's terrible for me. But it was what it was, or it was going to be what it was going to be. Um, I think next turn we actually just play the Axe Jaw? Okay. They have something that they're not tapping out for here. Um, although I could cast this and then this. Now let's just play this. On the off chance that it gets big enough to... Um... Oh, they might have a Braid. Yeah, it's a Braid. Okay. Um, sure. Colossal Dactyl seems fine. Oh, wait, no, I should have put that to the bottom. I'm stupid. I can't cast that. I can't cast Colossal, Colossal Dactyl. That was dumb of me. Um, yep. Take another five. 
That sucks. Okay. Play this. Play this nerd. Okay. They attack with this. Oh no, they don't have anything in their graveyard. This can block this pretty effectively. Blame it on the brain. A decal of this and put it on your bumper. <laughs> Is your bumper what you call your chin? Senpai noticed me. Uh -huh. It's weird. Um, they could freely attack with Malamut Veteran and Poison Dart Frog. Um, this this match is going poorly for us though. We uh, that abrade came at exactly the right time to fuck me over. Take a drink, thank you, TK. Uh, ooh. Leave me at one. Kinda sucks for me, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Thank you, TK. How you doing, TK? I should have put this in the graveyard, cause that was stupid. Yeah, that was dumb. Um, okay. So, this doesn't draw me a card, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, good game. <laughs> I can't play my cards. Ah, that should have gone in the graveyard. Although that means I would have drawn that land, and then, yeah. Oh, and then it would have turned on my, um... What's it called? It wouldn't have turned it on, but it would have it would have made it a little bit better. Um, alright. Four and one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're still doing way better than our first couple of drafts. It is the first day working at the studio. Wait, you got a new job? I didn't know you got it. Holy shit. Hey, congrats on the new job. <gasps> what kind of studio is it? Do they film like adult films there or what kind of studio are we talking about? What kind of studio? Should, we should, you should introduce me to some cute adult film stuff. No. Um, we can keep this. This gets us our green source so that we can play Kutsu. Kutsu. Keep. Turn one, hammer, turn two, that thing. Never mind, we got a green source. Echo of Deuced. Echo of Dust and Diamond. We don't need another land, so I'm going to decline. Pardon me. Sunbird Standard. Ah, uh, no blocks. I'll play this. Can't cast spells during my turn. All attack. Bonk. Hit him with the Bonkai. It's adult music. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <gasps> They're gonna tap it down. No. That sucks. Okay. Um. I'm gonna equip this to that. Yep. They don't want me to draw a card. Play this. End turn. Scry that to the bottom, baby. Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. What are you guys working? Is it is it primarily Maya? I know you've spoken about how you uh, use Maya more than um, anything. What the hell? Okay, adaptive gem guard. Sure. I uh, I'm not a big fan of Maya. They could tap these two down to make this a four four. Yeah, I don't care. I'm going to hit you for two in the air and gain some life. Okay. Um, play this. Hit him in the air. Draw a card. Mm. When it enters, it explores. Let's play this guy. It's a 5-4 with Trample. He is 5-4 with Trample. The movie of the Mayan princess. What? Hey, ducky. Huh. Opponents attacking with that. Mill four cards. That's a pretty easy trade for me. Actually. Because it's like a stone rain. Like, I don't actually care 
too much about that. Next, hit him in the air. Gain two. Mm -hmm. Um, the smartest thing for me to do would be to play this. So we're going to. We're going to play the uh, the three five flyer that gains his three life. Maya and the three. Never heard of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, they have a lot of power in the air. They could come at us on the ground, but like we're making up a fair amount of it. They're gonna try to um turn that into a three three. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's a three three with vigilance. I don't know if that's the best use of your turn, sir. Um. What the hell? Damn it, Hunter. Why would you do that? That's that's rude, sir. Next. We're gonna attack with just this. We draw another card. They take four. Ah. I will eat that bean in a minute after this match is over. I'll play this 4-5 with Reach Trample. And then end my turn. So now this is terrible. Like, this being a 3-3 terrible right now um okay cosmium blast target attacking or blocking creature sure uh they can't use it now Oh, that's the freest I've ever seen anything be. Oh. Yeah, I don't care. Um, let's see. Next, attack with these two. I just, I don't understand why they thought that would be a good idea. Lore. Um, let's play X Jaw. Done. Let's play Myco Tyrant. And I could put this on something actually. Let's put this on this guy. There we go. As soon as this match is over, I will eat that bean. Thank you, Hunter. Please, please save your money. Don't spend your money on here. Come on. Uh, sure. I'll take three. Pirate hat. Oh, because they don't have any blue sources. Okay. Fanatical offering. Oh, no. That's a desperation move. Sure, you can have this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, um, put this on you. Next, next, attack with this, this, this. Yep, okay. Uh, gong, gong, gong. And I get that back, so do I want anything back from my graveyard? Um, maybe the veteran, because it has trample. And, hmm. Put this on you. End turn. Opponents at four, they have no board. Alright. Sure. Resolve. Good game. Wow! That's not my fault. I don't know, like, it feels like we weren't doing anything very specifically, like, better in this match, right? Thank you, Remy. I, I just, like, as compared to, like, all the other decks that we've drafted today, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything more 
explosive and yet we're winning games here where in the earlier games the earlier drafts that i had today it was just like oh man oh and three fuck my claim that we are five and one i don't understand this you just threw it away it's like i don't play with this shit fucking nerdy ass miniature shit well this is not a warhammer figure fucking pitches it um oh man i never played with beyond I almost called them Bionicles. Bionicles. I never played with Bionicle. So, like, I don't get it. I'm sorry. Um, this is not keepable. I got... I got... I could... Oh, God. I could... Okay, so what's this curve look like? If I don't draw a third land... I need to draw a fourth land. I think I can keep this. Because I like everything that's there, too. Aww. I never did any judging for hero clicks. Ah, oh, my opponent already mulliganed once. I never did any, like, or, or, or uh, tournament organization for hero clicks. And... Like, it just, it looks so, it looks so, um, what's it called? Complex. And, like, I remember watching my, great, another green source. Um, watching the local judge do it, and it's just like, my god. I, you couldn't pay me to do this. This is just, this is so much organization. And you're basically babysitting. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they abraded this. I'll attack. There's the abrade. Again. Wouldn't be surprised if they abraded it. Now we get to... That's pretty good here. I will take that. It, you see... Why would you put it in an empty jar? I'm kidding. Uh, I think next turn we're going to Pathfinding Axe Jaw. If it draws us our next land, great. If not, great. Uh, land? Next. All attack. Opponents thinking about removing it, which is great. If they spend an abrade on this thing, that's fantastic. All right. Um, play this. Oh god, that happened to like one dude. <laughs> Alright, so that's fine. I don't mind drawing that. That's a card. Um, some people think that I probably should have put that in the graveyard. Hunter's Blowgun. play this we'll put it on that and if they kill it in response cool oh god what's my opponent doing oh no that's too late to be mountain cycling It's going back and forth. He was ruled against. Uh, he threw his entire collection against the wall. Wow. What a fucking child. Holy shit. Yeah. Fuck that guy. What a what a belligerent twat. Um Yeah, let's play the old tech cloud guard. It's another flyer. It's at a 1-1. One, one. And I don't think we can lose the game now. His opponent's just so far behind, and we have two flyers that are combined lethal. Right? This is five damage. So if they only play this is uh the pathfinding axe draw is lethal by itself. 
So if they only play um, one creature, yeah, they're just dead. Okay. GG. I don't even have to swing out. I'm just gonna... Yeah, good game. God damn. Some people... Like, I don't understand why people get scummy over, like, fucking... Like, especially like that. Over, like... Fucking, like, any cart, any, like, you know, like, like, at a convention, at a card game, or at Hero Clicks, it's just like, yo, you realize that this is for, like, it's, it's 12 and up, but, like, realistically, you, 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 you're acting, like, way below that. Six and one! I, I can't, I can't imagine why anybody would fucking do that. Also, if, if, if you're planning on putting a jar in you, um, just get, get a plastic one. The plastic ones don't shatter. He knew you? Well... Knew. Past tense. He doesn't know you anymore. Fuck that guy. Uh, hmm... I think we can keep this. We have one white card in our hand. We have, we have pretty good... Like, we could play this and then play the cash, play the scavenger. Play the axe jaw if we keep drawing lands. I think this is fine. We need to play the nursery first. Oh, a very fast start with our opponent. Herald Guide is a much better 3-drop. Oaken Siren. Alright. Oof, pardon me. Cash. Shit was so cash. Next. End turn. I'm not gonna put a token on their creatures. Get a plastic one that's filled. Aw, oh, fuck me. I'm dead. Alright. Um... How do I do this? I have to play this. And then next turn. Yeah, I'll put this on this. Next turn I have to exile this with Dusk Rose Reliquary. And it doesn't feel great. Okay. Another Tomb Raider. We block one of these, yep. Cogwork Wrestler. Pretty good. Pretty sneaky, sis. Alright. I don't think there's a way for us to pull back, actually. Because this 5-4 flying... Yeah, that's 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 me. I'm dead. Um, They're drawing a card off of that. I can't even cast that. This is the most I could do. Sacrifice this. Exile that. But then this goes to the graveyard, so they discover 3. Resolve. <laughs> they could cast it for free. Uh, good game. Here, I'll giant size your creature. Let's see, <laughs> that was bad. Like they went super fast. They had the fucking nuts in their hand. Uh, I shit. I should have. Um, I should have. I should have uh, shown the 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 zoetic glyph making a five four flyer with vigilance in that deck is like not unheard of um wow last th this is the last match um six and two this is the final match um there's an indestructible piece of equipment that you could just like turn into an indestructible five four hey erwin i do not have a riz i don't know what you're talking about you're drunk this is capable but i don't like it a uh, hammer into exemplar. Sure. We have a reliquary. How you doing, by the way, Erwin? Erwin, make sure you take care of of um, Belloc. He's not feeling good. Oh, perfect. Opponent gets to rip my hand open. They'll probably take my kutzel. That's the smartest thing to do. Um, it might be smart for me to yeah. Reliquary that. Um. Fuck. I have to get it back. Um. Submit. This sucks, but what are you gonna do? Give me that fucking back. No, zero Riz. I am. I am. Biggest rules lawyers. Uh, well. I mean, that'll happen, especially when you actually care. 
Well, like sometimes you need that clarification, right? So, I don't blame you. Inverted Iceberg, okay. Mill a card, draw a card. If they have sacrificed a creature, I'm fucked. Like, there's just no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh... Oh. Okay. There it is. Rest in peace, Quitzel. It's okay. We don't need him. We don't need Quitzel. Quitzel, Quitzel, Quattle. I'm glad he's fucking... Well, he, he, he swung by earlier and he mentioned that he's feeling a lot better. So I'm glad that that's fucking, like, behind him. You know what I mean? Play fired bricks. Oh, that's a banger, too. That's a real good one. It gets him two life, draws him a, a land, right? Um... Let's play the Quattro Scavenger. Because I got nothing else going. Um, I don't even have a second white source for uh, Sandwing. Which sucks. <laughs> it sucks. This makes a 4 4. Yup. Okay. Uh, let's get the Cenote Scout out. Um, I would like that, actually. Land go. No attack and turn. Uh ugh. Do I trade here is the question. Opponents on Esper. Esper. Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Because this is two bodies, another artifact, which then they could use to craft with any of this other shit. Right? I don't think I block here. Yeah, no blocks. None blocks. Pass. No blocks. Pass. Hmm? My turn. Alright, so I'll attack. Alright, Rem. You have a good night, okay? Rem, you have a fantastic night. Thanks for swinging by. You also are heading out, Feels? Alright, Feels. We'll be here. You have a good evening, Feels Dry. Or else. You'll drive recklessly? No, drive safely! <laughs> Play a land, end turn. They know about this. Um. They know about that. <laughs> Have a good night, Remy. Have a good night, Feels. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, They're probably going to craft. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes a 6-6. Six, six. Yep. Which prevents me really from... Um, I need my flyers. There's a flyer. Nice. Uh, this thing will tap down something every turn. There's a bat. No attacks. End turn. Um, hmm. You'll be safe so that it'll be done. <laughs> ah, fuck me. Of course they immediately have their own fucking flyer. I hate it here. <sighs> so if they attack with Iceberg Titan, it taps or untaps target creature or land. So they can tap down my Colossal Dactyl, which sucks. Um, I'm surprised considering, uh, well, they're playing sort of like an Esper control deck. It, it's fine. It, it's just, you know, the main issue that I've been having essentially is that they're basically, um, their, their mana is fine, right? And usually when you pay, play three colors in draft, you don't have like fine mana. It's like, it's more like, uh, my mana sucks. So, they likely tap down the Colossal Dactyl. Yep. Yep. Uh, resolve. And then I have to triple block the Titan. Pass. And it sucks that I have to do it like this, but I have to kill that. 
Otherwise, I will like never ever have a game against my opponent. All right, uh, my turn. That ain't it. Where the fuck are my fucking planes? No attacks. Turn. Like it's real frustrating when you're playing two two colors and like your opponent is playing like three maybe four colors and they already have perfect mana, and it's just like where the fuck is my second goddamn plane? Yeah, it would it would make sense to flip this actually because then it makes them more, um, what's it called? Yep. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't get something out of their graveyard. Makes them more, um, yeah. It makes them a four four immediately. I think we're we're basically dead to that. They swing out. Mm hmm. Pass. Uh, I guess. It it gets them another card though, which sorta of sucks because it discovers three. Cool. Another iceberg. Ugh. Yeah, we're like super dead. Resolve. Okay. Mm -hmm. My turn. Alright. And turn. They're likely going to flip this to then make another token here. Yep. Since that ETB is technically resolved, they can activate this to get another 4-4. Uh, four, four. Yep. Ah, uh, uh, this, 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 whole, this whole match has been like pretty bad for us. Yep. Well, 4 damage to that. Bong. Resolve. Or pass, pass. I'm just curious what my next draw would have been. Ah. Uh, my turn. Cool. Let's just plane cycle this. Yeah. Good game. Oh, God. Like... What... What a... What a what a way to go out. Like kind of like a a wet fart. Just like, oh, mm, just dead. Um not wonderful, but eh, these things happen. Do a donut. No, I don't do a donut. Oh well. Six wins, three losses. That's fine. Way better than the the zero wins, three losses, and one wins, three losses from earlier. That fucking hurt my pride. Oh, that sucked so bad. Um, and those last two matches, I mean, one of the things that I hate about drafting on Arena is the fact that if you want to do ranked draft, it's best of one. And if you want to do best of three, good luck, because those queues fucking die, like, so early. Everybody does best of one on Arena, because they're, they're promoting best of one, and I don't understand why they would do that, because that's not how people play Magic in person, but... What are you gonna do? All right, listen. I'm a raid out. I'm a raid out, guys. Let's see. Who are we raiding? Who are we raiding? Um, I'm lurking in their channel, in their channel, and in their channel. Oh, <gasps> oh shit! You know who's doing their inaugural stream today? I could tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's our homies. M. Lincoln, ask Jesus. Best of one, why have a sideboard? Your sideboard is basically every card that you've um you've you've drafted, essentially, right? That's not in the deck. It's just an automatic sideboard. It's the same thing, it's the same case for when you um when you uh draft or do sealed. Everything that's not in your deck is considered part of your sideboard. Um it's not limited to 15 cards. We're doing draft. So like if you do if you play sealed, um and you only play like, I guess. 23 cards out of your was it 120 no 90 right 90 cards because you get six packs plus one card you play 23 cards the other like 78 cards are considered your sideboard um 
Same thing for draft. Everything that's not in your deck that you've drafted or everything that's not in your deck that you opened in your sealed packs is considered part of your sideboard. Um, we can ask Jesus things. Jesus doesn't listen to me. Ever since that one time where I started screaming, Jesus, fuck it isn't real, you cocks. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to raid M. Lincoln. They're doing their first stream today. Um, I didn't even know that they were doing their first stream today. We love these people, though. Lincoln's fucking fantastic. And M. M Bronxum? Oh, she's so sweet. You guys are going to love the both of them. Please stick around for the raid. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, Cyber Lycan, I want to thank you especially for, um, for the uh, raid earlier today. Uh, Hunter, you gifted too many subs. Don't do that ever again. Um... Sansa Kuhn also subscribed. Uh, I'm trying to do this off the top of my head. Fail to find, fail to find, fail to find. I'm 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 cheating. Don't thank you for subscribing. Why? Sansa Kuhn, thank you for subscribing. One-handed media, thank you for the follow. Trins Ifrit, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, and Toast, thank you for subscribing. All right, guys. We're gonna raid M. Lincoln. It's M, and it's Lincoln, it's Bronxum, and it's Lincoln. They're playing Mario Kart. And I believe you can join them if you have it, guys. So please stick around for the raid. Um, we'll be back on Wednesday. I want to do a Leathercraft stream this week. I just have to not be lazy, and I have to set up all that shit. So maybe maybe Wednesday. Uh, I gotta shave, too. And I gotta get a haircut. All sorts of things need to happen. Um, but yeah, first, more, more importantly, I want to thank you guys for coming here and watching me um, complain bitterly about about best of one and how I hate it. it. It just, it feels like gambling. It really does. Um, you don't draft things for your sideboard. Like, you know, if you're doing best of one, you, you never have to sideboard. So you never have to go like, well, I should take this broken wings just in case my opponent beats my ass with a single artifact that I just otherwise would have no interaction for. <sighs> anyway, that's just, that's just my best example of it. Let's let's raid M. Lincoln. Um, we'll be back Wednesday, though. I know we'll be back Wednesday because I've said it. Raid M. Lincoln. They set up a whole new channel for it, guys. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, before we go, though, I want to ask you, yes, you, guys, if you haven't gotten your COVID-19 vaccine and it's reasonable for you to do so and it's available in your area, please get your shots because that shit could save your life. I just had a bout with COVID. That shit sucked. Um, but at least it was that much shorter because I got my shots. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I I need to get I, I I need to get my booster, but I want this to like run its course first because I still feel like like my mucus is like still like you know it's still affecting my 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 sense of smell. I otherwise feel fine. It's just like this little bit of like. Mm. Um, but I, I, I am looking into getting another booster uh, back Wednesday. So yeah, thanks for being here guys. Um, watching me complain bitterly over card games. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to run these credits because otherwise I will babble. That's right. They named the tower of Babel after me. Um, guys, if you have your own raid message, please feel free to use it. I provide it to the first one with the black cat emotes based on my little girl summer is for subscribers because it uses subscriber emotes. Um, but if you're not a subscriber, I don't want to pressure you into doing so, which is why we have the second far creepier raid message. But guys, until next time, remember to stay safe out there. Don't eat yellow snow. And remember that if you're not here, you're dickless. Have a good night, folks. Doodle.